Hey, hey everyone, welcome, welcome back. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for liking the video. Make sure you click on the bell so you know when I'm dropping another one, okay? Shout out to everyone who has been donating to me and the platform. When you donate, I light candles for you. I say prayers over you to bring you more prosperity and well-being. And thank you so much for booking with me. Our reading special literally ends this Sunday. So make sure you tap in by clicking on the link in the description box and all the information you need to register for the Spiritual Sex Magicians Workshop is also linked below, okay? So let's get into this message. I really wanted to do um, a quick tap in to see what's coming up for you um, this weekend. But you know, energy is fluid. This could have already taken place for someone or it will or it may not at all be your story, okay? So leave it where it's at. That's somebody else's story, okay, baby? But let's get into this. So... There were a couple different storylines going on when I was tapping into the energy, okay? For some of you this weekend, you're, you'll be meeting somebody new. You could be going on a date. You could be wanting to ask someone out or someone has asked you out, okay, for this particular category. There's the energy here of not trusting someone or someone not being trustworthy, so if you don't know this person for a long time, if you do not really trust them 100%, I would not meet up with them. I would not go out with them. I would not um, collab with them on any level because I'm getting for someone, there's an alter ulterior motive or there's some sort of agenda that is not being presented to you in your face. Somebody is plotting something and it could be many different levels for someone, okay? This could be, hey, you know, I have a surprise for you and that could be the plot that I'm picking up on. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't say that, okay? For, for some, this agenda is not the best. Someone out there does not have your best interests at heart. Now, they could be a con man, right? They could be guru dick. We talked about guru dick before, all right? Those who portray a certain way. Peace queen, peace goddess of the most high. How you doing, right? And then they come in and they're just like everybody else, right? So those that's the guru dick category. That's also the con man category or con woman. It doesn't really matter. It's an energy, right? Um, there's something that they are plotting and I don't feel like um, you're interested. I don't feel like you're interested. Someone also has a hard time cutting out attachments. Um, they're having a hard time walking away. I feel like they feel burdened. This is also someone who knows that they mess things up with you or knows that the situation isn't the best but they wanna come in and sugarcoat some things. They may wanna come in and not ever apologize or not ever say what the whole truth is. That's the energy that's coming in. Your energy though, my collective, whoever this resonates with, is you're abundant, you're prosperous, okay? You're hopeful, or the divine is wanting you to be in this energy right now. Um, definitely tapping into your ancestors and your guides. I feel like I'm going to pull some oracle cards. We'll, we'll see what I'm feeling. Um, trusting in your ancestors and your guides because they're letting you know about a certain someone or people, people that you're encountering. Um, they're not all that they seem. They have different agendas, okay? Um for some of you, there's someone who wants to surprise you because they're interested in you. They feel like you're the one for them. They feel like they can provide you with the things that they they know that you deserve. So there's different levels here, right? Someone wants to provide you with the, I'm just looking at the birds, the messengers, huh? And literally like, eight, 10 of them now are flying on that one branch since I said that. So it's interesting. Could have a lot of people watching you, right? And it could be because you're on social media and YouTube. 
But you have someone who genuinely wants to be with you. Now, this is the interesting energy that I was picking up because it's like once you cut a certain toxic energy out of your life, it could be a person, place, or thing. It could be a behavior that you were engaged in. Once you cut that out your life, you're going to have something completely different come in. So this could be like if some of you may have been dealing with an abusive ex or an abusive environment. Um, but I'm getting really like an abusive ex, an abusive romantic partner. Your next partner is going to be nothing like that person, okay? Nothing at all like that person. So that's the energy that's coming in for someone. You could be um, in contact with either one of these people. Um, I feel like someone has, has, you already have been, you already have. That's what I was getting. But whoever this message is for, you know exactly who I'm speaking about, okay? You you know this. You know this. Living legends came out. That could mean something for you. Some of you, you're legendary, right? Whatever it is that you do, um, you bring some sort of intellect. You could be an entrepreneur. You could be an intellectual. You could be a priestess, an oracle, and that's what's showing up here for someone you do have goddess, goddess energy. Somebody is very addicted to your energy this weekend or whenever this message applies. They're very addicted to your energy and they want access to you and your energy. I feel like you bring a certain light. Someone has never encountered your type of energy before, so they're quite captivated with you. Somebody is really in love with you, collective. And, you know, we've been saying this for months. Somebody is greatly in love with you, and some of you, this is very high vibrational. This is or, an ordained type of union. For others of you, this person, you are not going to want anything to do with them at all, okay? At all. This person has interior motives. I literally see, I want to dim your light. This person is plotting to exploit you or pimp the gift. Right? They want to pimp your, your magic, your manifestation ability. They don't want you to be the goddess, though, because then you, you know their plots and schemes. You know who they are. Somebody is upset because you could see through them. Okay? They feel like they cannot win against you because you always know. Somebody is plotting on someone here, or they have already. There's some sort of agenda here, like I was saying in the beginning. See, I'm happy I, I pulled the oracle cards. Thank you. Because the oracle cards kind of give the more direct answer. This is somebody's plot because they feel like you're a goddess and you're a light and they want a piece of it. And I feel like you may have cut them off or you're not wanting to deal with them on a level or you friend zone somebody or you know that they're a work colleague and that's all it's ever gonna be somebody has a different idea on how things should go all right we have not from here this person is captivated by you for others of you if you're going out with anybody they could be taking you out of town or out of state and again if you don't know this person if your friends and your family don't have their picture, their number, their license plate, their address, their favorite color, their favorite cologne, if nobody you know has the paperwork on this person, I wouldn't go anywhere with this person at all, okay? And y'all know me. I've been giving these messages over the years. Many of you, you have been booking with me over the years. And if I tell you something on this platform, you could bet money on it, right? We, we have over the years, I have so many emails, so many news article links that the messages that I'm giving check out. So I need you to trust that this message is also one of those messages and for you to be very mindful about who you're going to spend time with, okay? I heard get off of the dating site. See, and then at the bottom here, I just picked it up to move the Oracle deck and I have let's start over. Somebody wants a second chance with you to dim your light. So look, 
I didn't even want to give this message, y'all, because I'm like, ooh, it was a nasty energy off rip. It was a snake in the grass. It was a con man. It was an, a, a molester, a stalker, a dusty soul energy that immediately came up. And I was just like, ew, I don't want to do this. <laughs> But they were like, you press record on that camera right now. And I said, okay, I will. You're right. You're right. I'm so sorry. So look, y'all. I'm giving this message because somebody needs this message. All right. And if you need a personal, book one with me. Okay. We have great specials going on right now. If you're not clear, if you need some extra guidance, do so. If you need to ask an auntie somewhere, if you need to go and, and contact your mentor, do that. But somebody here, um, look, oh, I didn't even see this. Look at this. Look at this. I didn't even see this. This is a part of the, the stack that had fallen out. All of these Oracle cards that fell out, it, it fell out together, okay, as one. So this is the message. Look. So somebody is plotting on you, honey. Yes. Whoever this message is for, though, I think that you know. You're a priestess. You're an oracle. You're a shaman. You're a baba. That's, that gives me the other message. Like somebody underestimates your anointing. Somebody does not, they're not acknowledging the divine's hand in your life. They don't understand that you're chosen or some of you out there, you're a deity in the flesh. You're a star seed. You're a light and a shadow worker. You, you have a different cert, certain type of, Intel and security protocol. You're part of the Divine Justice League. Yes. And you align with this frequency on this platform and this channel, which affords you a lot of protection because I say prayers and I light candles over those who tap into my platform, who show love, who like, who watch, who donate, those who are aligned with my soul tribe and those who are meant to be protected by me. Yes. So you, you're going to get this information. You are protected. But somebody out there, they see your light. They see who you are. And they, 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 don't, they don't have good intentions. This person can drink too much or smoke too much. Or they abuse narcotics. Or they abuse plant medicine. Because I, I saw plant medicine before. Okay. This person likes to numb themselves because of the things that they have done, but also because of you leaving them or you being who you are. Somebody has it out for you just because you're a god or a goddess. Just because you're, you, you're a messenger of the most high. Somebody literally does not want you to ever do that again. Okay, to be this. Somebody does not like the fact that you are of a royal bloodline. Okay. All right. Somebody needs to wake the fuck up because you're thinking that this person is someone that they're not. Like I said, they have a big mask on. It's a big shape shifter energy. Okay. These people are money and clout chasers. Okay. Stay away from them. And look, the last one that we have. Oh, oh, three. Let's do three. Okay. Somebody feels entitled to your blessings. They want to rob you. They want to rob you. They want to assault you. Okay. Hey, I'm the one who backstabbed you. This is what they're saying to you. It was me. I'm the one who plotted on your life. I'm the one who stole the money for you from you. I'm the one that that's plotting to to be uh, to get you assaulted. I'm the one who's wanting to rob you and 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 do all these things to you. I want to copycat. I want to be you. Okay. I want to wear your skin. Somebody like y'all heard me talk about 
the movie Single White Female for years now. I've been talking about that movie for years. And um, it's funny because they now have a remake coming out this year. I've been channeling that a long time. You have a big copycat energy around you. Some of you and others of you, you, you have a copycat energy around you and you also have somebody who is literally plotting against you, okay? The last card out is anointed. Remember I said this person doesn't understand your anointing. They don't get it. They're very disconnected from their spiritual source. And if they're not disconnected from the spiritual source, they just work for the wrong team. They don't work for the same team that you work for. Their boss is not your boss. So they're using their spiritual gifts for bad, to assault you, to take from you. We had root chakra. I don't know if I showed this, but we had root chakra come in. Somebody wants to assault the root, the things that um, are represented by the root, which is your stability, your security, your money, your sexuality, okay? Who you are, the root, sacral, and solar. They don't want you to be this anointed god or goddess. They don't want you to be the messenger of the Most High. They're very upset about it because you're outing them. You're outing them. Those who have not tuned into the Divine Justice League, make sure you watch that, okay? So, this is the weekend message. We also have trustworthy and honorable, okay? I feel like this person is not trustworthy and honorable. And for, all, for those of you out there, you're needing to heed this message because I am trustworthy and I am honorable, okay? And look, this is what's happening for someone, all right? And, you know, I was going to say I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's an honor to be a divine messenger. It's an honor to be the oracle, you know, as wild as it gets behind the scenes, honey, because <laughs> it get wild and go down in the field, okay? goes down. But um, it's an honor to be this to have this role and for whoever I'm talking to know that it is an honor to be you, to be this gifted anointed goddess. It is. Don't be afraid of this. Don't be afraid. You're an anointed goddess or God. Okay. And, and take heed to this message. All right. If you need me, send me an email. If you need more clarity on the situation, send me, um, you know, or book a session with me, all right, if you need some help. Um, and yes, my love, all is well, you are safe. The divine is telling me that whoever this is, they are safe. They just needed this confirmation, okay? They just needed a confirmation. There's a big surprise here. The people who are plotting against you, because for some of you, it's more than one person, okay? The people who are plotting against you, they are going to be surprised on how things turn out. They're really, they're not going to want to take a move towards you is what the divine is telling me right now. It's not, they're not going to want to lay a hair on your head. They're not going to want to touch you at all. So you need to trust that, okay? Um, that is all, my loves. Again, I wish you peace and love. I'm sending you so much love and light. And I'm saying prayers and affirmations over you. You are protected. Walk your path with courage, okay? Peace and love. I'll see you on the next one.